Mars has been home to a variety of important discoveries in space and, of course, many more to come. Mars' findings have opened the door to knowing just a little more about the Red Planet and is helping us to understand the puzzles of the past of this planet. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three interesting Mars discoveries. Blueberries on Mars In 2004, NASA sent its Opportunity rover to Mars in order to explore more of its surface, hoping to learn about its composition and more information regarding the history of Mars. After landing on Mars, the rover made an interesting discovery. Tiny dark blue spheres that appeared to resemble blueberries. The land covered in these spherical small pebbles were termed as blueberries by scientists because they appeared to look incredibly similar to the fruit. There were several of these blueberries all located into one general area, which scientists found to be very curious. The blueberries were measured to be very small, only being up to 6.2 millimeters in diameter. The scientists on the Mars team were baffled because nothing like the blueberries had ever been discovered before, and it was bizarre that only this specific area contained them. Scientists were aware that the region of Mars where the blueberries were found contained a lot of hematite, or iron oxide. Scientists believe that the blueberries were formed by liquid water moving through rocks over time, water heavily infused with iron oxide. This insight is extremely foundational. First of all, it suggests that flowing water was once present on Mars. For spheres of this kind, flowing water had to be involved specifically over a long period of time. This hints to the suggestion that Mars is a highly complex terrain, and that ancient Mars may have appeared much differently than the Mars we currently know. It remains a mystery how these blueberries fully formed, and what was involved in their creation. While scientists are sure that iron oxide and mineral-infused water was involved, they remain unsure of just what it took for these little blueberries to form. Some theories suggest perhaps they are pieces of meteorite that have been shaped over time. Unfortunately, more sophisticated technology is required in order to fully understand what is going on behind the chemistry of the blueberries. Nothing like this exists on Earth, so scientists are extremely limited in their access to learning more about the blueberries. It is difficult to fully know what they are made of and how exactly so many of them came into being in the same area at once. The technology required to learn more about these blueberries is currently being designated to learning more big-picture information about Mars. However, it is possible that more may be discovered about the blueberries in the future. One thing is for sure, the discovery of the blueberries tells us that we have much more to learn about Mars. Evidence of Water on Mars the idea of water on Mars has been present in science for many years. It is now well known that Mars is considered a mostly dry planet, with limited evidence of moisture. However, new information shows that ancient waters once flowed over the surface of the red planet. As we mentioned earlier, the presence of the blueberries also lends itself to the idea that running water was present on Mars. The first major hint suggesting that Mars was covered in water is through the craters formed on the face of the planet. Scientists from the Netherlands assert that the only thing capable of forming the kind of massive craters discovered would have been large amounts of water, specifically water that was deep and remained in one place for a long time. Alongside these craters are various channels formed in the surface of Mars, which suggests that running water existed and created these pathways. These channels are indented, which tells us that this running water existed for a long period of time. This confirms that once Mars was home to many lakes, rivers, and perhaps also larger bodies of water like oceans. The soil found on Mars has been found to have hydrogen in it. This has been attributed to the presence of water molecules in the soil as well. This could indicate that water may still exist beneath the surface of Mars. NASA has found rocks that look like concrete slabs built from this soil. The rock has eroded on one side, the other is completely smooth. Scientists affirm that water, specifically running water, is responsible. 
Another important piece of evidence that Mars contained water is the ice now present. Various rovers have discovered ice and glaciers. The temperatures on Mars now are far too low to support liquid water. There are also minerals and rocks that have formed under the ice that imply that liquid water was once part of the Red Planet. In 2018, a subglacial lake was discovered. It extends about 20 kilometers, and it is considered to be the first known stable body of liquid water on Mars. This provides important insight into what Mars once was, and it also allows scientists to better assess whether Mars could or ever did support life. Throughout these studies, scientists are very positive that running water once existed on Mars in high volumes. The Curiosity rover was sent to Mars to discover whether flowing water ever existed on the planet, and it seems that this has been confirmed. This shapes everything we know and continue to learn about Mars, as we discover what life may have looked like when water was running on this planet. While some scientists believe that the running water only existed for a short amount of time on Mars, it seems that the combination of studies and evidence suggest that it existed much longer than previously believed. This suggests that there may have been enough water present for a long enough period of time that Mars could have been considered habitable. The evidence of running water opens new questions about whether there was plant or animal life once on Mars and how long ago this may have been. Scientists argue that the evidence of water on Mars is the first true evidence of a possible habitable environment. Water is essential to all life as we know it, so the idea that Mars once contained this necessity for life is incredible. Olympus Mons, the largest volcano in the solar system. Earth may be unique in many ways, but one thing it shares in common with the other planets is volcanoes. Space volcanoes operate almost exactly like the ones on Earth, except that they have the potential to get bigger. Much bigger. That brings us to Olympus Mons. Olympus Mons is a massive shield volcano on the planet Mars. It is over 21 kilometers tall. To put that into perspective, it is about two and a half times the height of Mount Everest. It's so tall that it actually goes outside of Mars' atmosphere. It is considered the tallest volcano to be discovered in the solar system. Olympus Mons covers an area roughly the size of Italy, which is a massive surface area for a volcano. Because the tectonic plates on Mars do not shift as much as they do on Earth, Olympus Mons has been able to acquire a massive size. The shifting of the tectonic plates greatly changes how things like volcanoes form because it disrupts the matter required to settle and shape the volcano. This has also allowed Olympus Mons to discharge lava to enormous heights continuously without being disturbed. So, how did a volcano of this size even come to be? Scientists predict that Olympus Mons came from many lava flows, pouring onto the same site over time. This allows lava to remain in the same spot for longer periods of time, which in turn allows more volcanic crust to form. Eventually, a volcano arises around these lava flows and continues to grow as more lava spews. This means that for a few billion years, there has been a steady flow of lava in one spot on Mars. This has never been able to happen on Earth, which means that no volcano like Olympus Mons has ever been able to form on Earth. Even though it has taken billions of years to form this volcano, it is actually still considered relatively young. Because of this, Olympus Mons could still be active. The last time this volcano erupted is predicted to have been anywhere from 20 to 200 million years ago, which is around the time that dinosaurs roamed on Earth. It is unlikely to erupt again, but some scientists predict that it is still a highly plausible possibility, which could have extreme effects on us, considering the size of the volcano. There haven't been any rovers to make the journey onto this volcano. This is for many reasons, in part because it is a highly complex terrain. It is incredibly dusty, which makes gathering accurate samples extremely difficult. It also has high elevations, which makes any kind of parachute landing impossible, because there is not enough room to actually make the landing. Unfortunately, this means that we will not learn much more about Olympus Mons until there is a breakthrough in technology. 
our intergalactic red planet neighbour continues to be a place of exploration and research. These three Mars discoveries show that the Mars we know today is nothing like it once was. So what do you make of these Mars discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.